boom, 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 and boom. Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. Just a guy on my lunch break is back. It's 2024. Mind blown. Actually, can't believe that. Um, I still remember when the year 2000 was coming. Yeah, I, I might be telling on my age a little bit, but I still remember when the year 2000 was coming and we were just, everyone was convinced that the world was just going to completely explode and our infrastructure was just going to shit itself right down the drain because all of our computers were going to be confused when the, <laughs> when the two, uh, year 2000 came in and all that. Um, I remember how I brought in the year 2000 as a 24 year old kid out at a club drinking, having a good time. Um, now I have a completely different sort of good time and a completely different sort of life. You want to know how I brought in the year 2024? In bed, bitches. In bed. Hardcore. Um, I did, however, allow myself uh, to stay up long enough to see the ball drop and actually see the new year come in, right? Um, but I absolutely didn't do anything special. I didn't pop any bottles of champagne. I didn't drink a drop. Um, and I just hung out at the house. Um, unfortunately, well, first, before I get started, I'm going to talk a little bit um, later on in the video. This is, look, I'm sorry, guys. Just a guy on my lunch break rambles, okay? That's what I do. And after a long hiatus of almost two weeks since I've posted anything, there is absolutely going to be some rambling happening today. So if you don't get down with the rambling and you're one of those people that just has a specific problem with me not sitting here talking about Kratom for 20 minutes straight or, or however long the video is, then you are welcome to go ahead and skip ahead to whatever that next video in line is that you would typically go to when you are on YouTube. You're welcome to do that. Uh, because as you guys know, I ramble. It's what I do. Sometimes a little more than others. In a time like this, when I have so much to tell you guys and so much to talk about, and it's been almost two weeks since I've posted, it's going to be really, really difficult for me not to ramble a little bit. And besides, you know, I've built relationships with a lot of you guys, and you guys are really just like my friends, you know? And I talk to you guys a lot about a lot of personal, you know, things that go on in my life. Uh, what happens behind the closed doors of the Austin family. I talk about all those things on here. And um, and I've developed a lot of, you know, positive, I would say, uh, acquaintance slash friendships with some of you guys. So that's what you get. You know, when I get on here and I'm chatting it up, that's what you get. I'm speaking to you guys as though you're just a big group of my friends because you are. Um, up to 641 subscribers, I think, the last time I looked. So, um, with that said, I'm sure there's always going to be the outliers of people like, I only want to listen to if you're talking about Kratom. You know, I'm sure there's going to be that set of people, but with 641 subscribers and a lot of what I do is just... <laughs> just rambling then apparently at least a large portion of those subscribers don't give a shit if i ramble and in fact i've had a fair amount of people say hey man i kind of like it when you go off on tangents it's relaxing you got a good voice you have a soothing voice you know i listen to you in the background to kind of stay focused on work tasks and to do other things so it's not a big huge concern for me that you sit and talk about Kratom specifically the whole time. So uh, that's what I do. So again, as far as the rambling, there you go. Three minutes right out of the bat of me explaining to you that I plan to ramble today. Because <laughs> um, I'm good at that. <sighs> I hope everyone had a great Christmas. I'm going to go into mine a little bit. Unfortunately... As much as I have to be thankful for, um, well, no, L let me retract that. I, I do have a lot to be thankful for. I don't want to set that up as in, I have a lot to be thankful for, but 
let me flip that around and put the butt first. So myself and most of my family was sick pretty much most of the holiday, okay? Um, and, and this goes back to where this is going to be a lesson to you guys on really life is a very, very small percentage what actually happens to you. And then a much larger percentage is how you are reacting to what happens to you, right? So, um, as of Thursday, the 20th, December the 20th, um, you know, my, my infant son, a lot of you wished me well with him, said you hope he's getting to feeling better, and I appreciate all those well wishes. He is much better now. Um, he was having some stomach issues where he was vomiting a lot. He was unable to hold down his food, all of those things. Well, um, Wednesday afternoon, which would have been the 19th, I think that's the 19th. No, I'm sorry, that would have been the 20th. Wednesday afternoon, before I was set to leave that day, um, I was sitting in a meeting that afternoon and I just started, you know how you're, you're good one minute and then all of a sudden you just start to have this wave of like discomfort sweep over you? And I started noticing that I just started feeling nauseous. Um, and it was, you know, you can tell the different types of nausea right? There's the nausea where you've taken too much kratom. We've talked about that on here where your body just wants to get rid of, you know, all that kratom that you took in. There's that kind of nausea. And then there's the sort of nausea where you can tell, okay, yeah, this is kind of a sickness because I started having the uh, kind of some cold chills and almost like I was g getting a slight fever with it. And uh, I didn't throw up. I didn't throw up, but I was sitting in that meeting Wednesday afternoon and just this wave of just oh I feel like shit started to come started to come over me and I'm a person who kind of have a, has a cast iron stomach I've talked about that a lot on here I'm not a person who vomits very easily I'm the type of person that typically it takes a whole lot to make me vomit I'm talking about just an asinine amount of alcohol or something like that where my body's just like okay too much Blech. That's the only way I ever vomit. Uh, if it's not outside of, you know, drinking an insane amount of alcohol, I just don't. I just never vomit. There may have been maybe twice in my whole life, and I'm 47, that I've actually vomited when it didn't have anything to do with um, alcohol. There's been times I've been sick on my stomach and I've had it come out the other end. You know, I'm the type of person that... Um, the gag reflex, the, the vomitus reflex is not really there that much for me. I'm the type of person that I'll keep it down and I'll keep the food down, but then it'll run its course and it'll come out the other end as diarrhea. And then that's when I can tell that I'm really sick, right? So anyway, I was feeling sick that afternoon. Um, by the time I got home that afternoon, I literally just wanted to lay in bed. I got home walked in the house, which I never do this. Normally what I do, walk in the house, go change clothes, get in some workout clothes. I go and I do about some 30, 30 minutes to an hour of some sort of intense exercise. Then I shower, then I, you know, spend time with my baby, talk to my 17 year old for a few minutes, make sure he doesn't have any homework, all that stuff, do the family thing, right? Um, this day I came home, walked straight in the house, Took off my clothes, put on my comfortable clothes, as I call them, my comfy clothes, and I laid in bed. And I did not get out of bed for the rest of that evening. Part of the problem with this is I was supposed to go to work that following day on Thursday, okay? But I was a day out from having my whole Christmas vacation, which was me taking the rest of my vacation days. So Friday, the 22nd, all the way through that next week, and then up to today, Tuesday, January 2nd, I was going to be off. So I had a full like 11 days where I didn't have to go to work, right? So I got home, uh, lay in bed. I never did throw up, but I just, my stomach was distended. You know, I could tell there was something definitely going on. I felt kind of sweaty and nauseated. Um, so I laid there the whole night, barely got out of bed. 
And uh, the, the next day, on Thursday, our company was supposed to be having our Christmas party and Christmas gathering where we get up and we have a have a meal that the company provides and they hand out some, you know, door prize type Christmas gifts to everyone. Then you get your, they hand out Christmas bonuses because my company is very, very, um, a very, very giving company and they actually give you, you know, half of your month salary um, as a Christmas bonus every year. So that's always really nice. You get paid three times in December uh, instead of the normal two times that you do a month. You get paid three times and then you also, in addition to that, get a Christmas bonus that is the same as what your pay is, as what your salary is for a two-week period. So December at my company, it's a fun, happy time, you know, because normally you get paid twice a month. Well, in December, you're getting that same amount four times. So you're essentially getting paid double in December what you do every other month of the year. So... You know, I was looking forward to going Thursday. Well, the way I felt, there was absolutely no way that I was going to go to work. For one thing, I didn't feel like it. Secondly, I think that's a jacked up thing to do when I know for a fact that I got this stomach bug from my son who's been sick and throwing up, and he brought it home from his daycare. We already know that his teachers and a few people at his daycare had the same stomach bug. This is something that's getting passed around. Right. And so I, I wasn't going to be an asshole and just, well, you know what? I want to go to work and have my free lunch and make sure that I'm able to, you know, come home with my bonus check and I'll just get everybody else sick. So everybody else gets it for me and then they have to go home and spend their whole Christmas and their whole holiday with their family sick and getting everybody else sick. And I wasn't going to do that. So as much as I uh, actually did want to go because it was a half day. You had the dinner, you had gifts, and your bonus check is actually a live check. Uh, they give that to you in a live check. It's not something that's actually um, direct deposited like your salary is. Um, so I had to forego getting a lot of things, including my bonus check. But I wasn't going to go and get everybody else sick, so I stayed home on Thursday. Um, and I just laid around all day, all day on Thursday. <laughs> Um, barely moved off the couch. If I didn't have, if I didn't, if I could help it, I didn't move off the couch. And, um, so then the following day on Friday, that starts my vacation. I was supposed to be off anyway. All right. Starting that Friday. So Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I felt like straight ass. Okay. So this is the first two, two three days of my Christmas vacation, I felt terrible. Um, the whole first day, I didn't throw up anything. I just felt really, really nauseous. Like, I didn't want to move. I had a little fever going on. The distended belly, just super uncomfortable. Well, on the second night, um, after my second full day of being affected um, or infected with this, I finally started having, like, some symptoms in terms of the diarrhea and stuff. So on Friday night and Saturday night, both nights, I was I got out of bed probably five to six times both nights and was having diarrhea. Listen, I'm a person who shits once a day, once in the morning, I shit, and then I don't shit for the rest of the afternoon and the rest of the night. I'm a very biological individual, okay? Like I said, you don't like me talking about shit, go subscribe to another dude. Because just a guy on my lunch break talks about taking a shit. All right? And besides, you guys are my friends. You know, well, what else do you talk about with your friends? Taking a shit. That's what you talk about. All right? Anyway, um, so for the for those two days, I was getting up and I had diarrhea and all that. My son um, was constantly throwing up. It, it was like we were terrified to give him his milk. Uh, we were also giving him Pedialyte at the instruction of the doctor because he can become dehydrated during that whole sort of thing. And this is his first time having something like that. So it just breaks your freaking heart to see your little, you know, seven-month-old baby who's never experienced anything like this. And he's so hungry and he just wants to eat and he does his little crying thing to feed me, feed me, feed me, please. And then, you know, 10 minutes after he eats the bottle, bleh, 
turns around and throws up the whole thing on the floor. So I was not only sick, but my son was sick and we were constantly cleaning up throw up, you know, um, I mean, there were times where it projectiled out of him and hit our drapes, our curtains. It got onto our, our brick hearth. Um, there were times where it got onto our couch. It was a bad deal. So you can imagine having to deal with that. And then in addition to dealing with that, feeling really bad myself also. Okay. So uh, finally, as of about Sunday... I started feeling significantly better. I felt like I had kind of moved past it, right? Sunday rolls around. I'm starting to feel better. Um, my son, River, he's not vomiting as much as he was, but he's he's still, you know, doing the thing where he's vomited at least once or twice a day. Anytime he got more or, or a pretty significant amount of formula in his system, he'd barf it up, right? And so that was a big concern. Well, uh, Sunday night, or Sunday evening rolls around, and we had given him some uh, medicine called, called um, damn, I knew it, I was going to draw a blank and remember, Zorfan, Zorfan, uh, shit, I can't remember, Zofan, Zofran, Zofran, I think is what it was, and it's something that's for nausea, right, and it, uh, one of the side effects is it can make you sleepy, and stuff like that and uh with the baby obviously that was a concern well saturday afternoon rolls around and uh he starts having some issues we feel him and he's like a little furnace he's extremely hot and so my wife and i start getting concerned about this and then we notice upon realizing that he has 102.7 fever which for any of you who don't know uh infants tend to run a slightly higher body temperature anyway than adults and older children so it's normal for an infant to have kind of an elevated body temperature but not that elevated it's not supposed to be you no know, 102.7 right so um and then we notice that he's really lethargic and we're like damn is this the zofran that he's taking you know it says that he can make you sleepy or we our bigger concern was this this lethargy is this does this have to do with his fever going up you know so we made sure that he uh uh you know we'd given him some children's tylenol the fever did come down some but he's still running like around 100 100 degrees in a fever and you know i haven't had uh, a child my oldest son is 17 years old guys so i'm a little bit out of practice on what's appropriate for having an infant son and my wife, God bless her, this is her first biological child ever, ever, um, as a 39, almost 40-year-old woman. So she and I both, at this point, are starting to get nervous. And, and we put it off several times. We're like, should we take him to the hospital? Should we take him to the emergency room? And uh, a couple of times it got brought up. And we were just like, no, you know, let's just wait. It's Christmas Eve. I really really don't want to spend my christmas eve in the in the emergency room and then we start thinking about you know with babies a lot of times they want to be extra over cautious what if they decide to keep him there and then we end up being in the hospital overnight christmas eve and then we have to wake up in a freaking hospital on christmas day this would just be horrible right but after about the second or third time of us noting noticing him having a higher temperature we did what we felt like good parents should do. And we both were like, you know what? We don't want to do it. It sucks to have to think about doing it. But there is no way in hell I'm going to let something bad happen to him on Christmas Eve or any other day. And then us, you know, feel guilty about the fact that we did not take him to the hospital when he actually needed to be there no matter what day of the year it is, right? And so we finally both just had this discussion of, you know what, it sucks, we don't want to do it, but I think we both would feel better and we could spend the rest of our holiday at least knowing that it's okay, he, this is what's going on, do this, this, and this to kind of help get him through it as far as the symptoms. And then, you know, from there we can just hopefully spend the rest of our holiday actually in enjoying time with the family so we pack up everything 
on Christmas Eve, y'all. About 5 o'clock, 5.30 on Christmas Eve. And we drive him to Moses Cone Hospital, which is about 15 minutes from our home. Excuse me. And um, luckily, there's a regular ER side, and then there's a children's ER side. We were in the children's side, obviously. And uh, luckily, there was not a lot of people there. Not a lot of people there. But uh, we took him, and he was he was hot. It was hot in the hospital, and he's one of those little kids when he gets really upset and he's crying and fussing. As the poor little thing starts breaking out in rashes and hives and all this other stuff, he he just looks terrible, and you can tell he doesn't feel well. But anyway, we go, and basically they say um, that's okay, not a big deal. They gave us an antibiotic, Zofran. Um, so the moxicillin, Zofran, and they also give us a prescription level um, infant uh, Motrin, right? And they wanted to give this to him and make sure that he got some in his system before leaving. So the nurse comes in and they try to give it to him. They start trying to give him um, this uh, amoxicillin. They get about two drops of it in his mouth and he goes... <laughs> throws up all over the doctor's office. I'm talking about, it's looking like freaking exorcist up in here. Uh, I'm not talking about, oh, oh, bleh. No, I'm talking about opens his mouth and bleh, like, you know, straight just vomitus. Vomitus Maximus. That's, that's, <laughs> that's what you could have called him right then. And the nurse was very, very good, very, very professional. It was like, oh, no, buddy. You know, I'm sure they were thinking, damn it. Happy Christmas Eve to me. Now i got to clean all this shit up. I'm sure that's what they were thinking. But it was just horrible to see him that way. He had just had enough. He was ready to go home. We were ready for him to get better. We had been dealing with it for three or four days. We had cleaned up vomit after vomit after vomit. That's probably why I got sick is because of that. Um, and, oh, did I mention... We got a text from my mother late Friday night, and my 80-year-old father had gotten it by coming over and seeing River a couple of days ago just by getting close to him. He wasn't even there for 10 minutes, and by getting close to him, and my 80-year-old father had it coming out of both ends, throwing up, diarrhea, the whole, whole nine yards. Uh, Saturday morning, we wake up. We're sitting on the couch drinking coffee, and Chrissy's like, Oh no. I look over, I'm like, don't start with oh no. Just tell me what it is first, and then we'll have our reactions to it. Just tell me what it is. Don't start with oh no. She's bad about that. Because obviously I'm like, what? What? And my 17 year old Hayden had texted her and said he threw up six times Friday night. We were like, Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> so things are just, you know, obviously from bad to worse, right? So then my son, my infant son was still sick. Now my 17 year old sick. I'm just now getting over it myself. So we're like walking back and forth, trying to take care of him, trying to, you know, feed him healthy stuff at the same time. Uh, my 17 year old, while we're cleaning throw up in the other room and I'm putting on a mask and walking into, you know, my son's room just to not recontaminate myself or anything else. Um, and, uh, luckily all his was, was just throw up. He just threw up several times that night. And then he, he kind of, the next day he said he felt a little kind of queasy, but he didn't throw up anymore. He was able to hold food down and, uh, he never had any sort of diarrhea or anything. So I think his, his body sensed it. He threw up several times throughout the night. Couldn't even keep down water. Um, but then he was kind of okay after that. So um, the next day on Monday, Christmas Day, uh, my wife was insistent on us doing our Christmas Day gathering. So we did that. Had everybody come over. Um, I was seriously considering not doing that. And I didn't want to do it because of how much my son had been throwing up and I didn't want to expose everyone else to it and I also didn't want him throwing up all over the house when we're over there trying to celebrate Christmas 
Uh, my wife was very, very adamant that we go ahead and do it. Um, so we did. And uh, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, River threw up, what, two different times while we were there. And myself and uh, my mother-in-law had to clean it up. You know, and my wife is the one cooking for this. So you can imagine, we just got all this other stuff going on. And then in the midst of that, having to prepare for cooking a meal for everybody for, for Christmas, right? And um, and so, oh yeah, then my mother-in-law ended up getting sick as well. I won't go into that. So uh, it just it just infiltrated the whole family, basically. The only person that didn't actually get sick was my wife which is a freaking miracle. I have no idea because she is his main caregiver. I think that's just one of those simple blessings of God. That's all it is because she's the one that takes care of him the most anyway. She's the one that's in close proximity with him the most. She's the one that does most of his feedings, most of his changings, um, burps him, you know, where he's got to be close to. I mean, she is the one that does most of that. And uh, the fact that she made it through all of this around all these sick ass people and didn't get sick literally blows my mind. I think it was just God, like, because y'all are dealing with this, I'm gonna have this one mercy on you. His main caregiver is not gonna get sick. And she didn't, she never did. Um, but we had that experience on Christmas day. And uh, so his, his stomach finally starts getting better. Uh, around, you know, the day after Christmas on the 26th, okay? Um, and at this point, we started noticing he was nasally, starting to get nasally, and then he was starting to cough. So basically, he had this stomach virus for four or five days, and we still don't know whether the stomach virus uh, just manifests in these different ways, and they have, you know, like it starts as a stomach thing, and then you get sick from it, and it goes to congestion, and we don't know if it's the same thing or is something different, but he, he then starts getting sick that way. Uh, I had the stomach thing. It was good for probably three or four days after that, um, and then eventually I started getting the, you know, the nasal and sneezing a lot and then uh started having some coughing going on and stuff like that and i'm still now today um not fully per fully over it you know i'm still kind <clears> of <throat> you know a little croupy myself and probably sound nasally and stuff like that but um i said all that to say this it's all in how you think of things and there are two ways i could look at that i could look at it as damn it why me why me? You know, I go the whole year. I barely get sick. And here it is. I finally get a vacation. It's supposed to be the happiest, joyous time of the year, the Christmas and holiday season. And then I get sick and my whole family gets sick. Why? But, you know, then the first thing that popped in my head was. Bro. You were already off. You were already off. Anyway, you already had vacation days set and planned, you know? And then when I looked at it that way, it's like, it was bound to happen anyway, you know? And, uh, and, and perhaps that was just the fact that it happened when it did was God's way of blessing me to where I didn't have to be out of work for multiple days, you know, or I didn't, at least I didn't have to go to work and, you know, deal with doing certain, a job and certain tasks while I was feeling that way. I was, for the most part, able to just kind of be home. Uh, but so it was rainy a lot of the time. Everybody was sick as hell. And um, that's the kind of holiday I had. I just got to be completely honest. But um, anyway, 29 minutes of me rambling about shit that happened to me over the Christmas holiday. But you know what? I'm still grateful, still blessed. Um, it did get a lot better towards the end and, uh, we had some good highlights there towards the end, some good gifts, some good sharing, some good meals, um, exchanged and, uh, it was good. It was good overall, other than the fact that, uh, you know, we were all sick as hell other than that. But, um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I'm, I'm starting to taper. Um, I got several people that are going to be doing this with me and we're starting, uh, well, basically today. 
but you know I was off all last week so I kind of just used willy-nilly I didn't really stick to a certain amount um, and so that's why I plan to start my taper today so I need to see what it looks like for me today how much I end up taking by the end of the day and then tomorrow I'll have a better idea of where the taper starts for me you guys can tell me where it starts for you because I've got several people joining me on it and then we're gonna start the taper start to tape we're going to support each other through it all right guys i gotta go love you like the video subscribe to the channel and i will see you tomorrow good to be back peace